it's almost there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't call me white girl. That's so real. It's gay. Unpopular opinion. Jail's not that bad. Boom. Pop your shit open and grab the nigga by the head and get the. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's something about them whispering in my ear the whole name thing. I like that. I like a nigga to whisper. What's your cash? <laughs> that's what's different. And that's why, statistically, number wise, not only do we not get the same amount of riches as them, we do not keep it. Nowhere mm-hmm. near how long they keep it. Welcome to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. I have on a Gucci shirt because my guest wears a lot of designer. And the last post I seen, he had on Chanel from head to toe. And I was a little bit jealous. We'll talk about that a little later. My boy Phelps Hugo was in the building. Yo. Not really in the mood for bullshit. And he's also recommending people take Plan B's because kids suck. Um, we have two <laughs> special guests. Let's give it up for Rosa and Thwag, Queens Only. My What's God, the little... building? What is like, they say like Harlem keep on making it, Brooklyn keep on taking it, Queens keep on faking it? Yikes. I, don't know. I know Queens get the money. Queens get the money. That's I know it was I something. <laughs> this is my experience with Queens. Thag, Thwag is from Queens. Me and Thwag have a history and I have to share. Wow. Second time nigga come here was tough and I don't get nothing. <laughs> I fucked with bro. Let me double my shit up. Them cups ain't for nah, me. That's cool. Give, give Rosa one of those. Them we, cups we ain't not, for we me, not, we man. We're not in her no more, Rosa. We plotting, man. I got you one. This, Oh, we, we Thank you. Up. I this don't the, need this it, but the thank you. Cup? We on TV. <laughs> I like you with the ghetto cup. I like you with the ghetto cup. You like me with this cup better? Yes. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, keep it Chinese store, bro. For the I'm gonna give it pour up. So yeah, look, I'm gonna put this on the side. I, I had to explain my relationship with both of these fellas. Okay, um, me and Thwag were ops since until last oh, night. Tell you, you don't tell the truth. Yeah, I mean, around like about. Yeah, ran about. I, I never. I like Rosa from day one. Oh, she questions you. Me. She I don't questions know me. when she I question Rosa. Because the first conversation me and Rosa were like, I love you, I love you too. Do you feel what I'm feeling? It's so much that Yo. I want to tell. But look, since we talking about Rosa, this is the funny shit. So <laughs> Rosa is a good example of the kind of person I am, which Phelps it has to deal with on a regular basis. When I like people, I get really infatuated. Sometimes it takes a while for me to figure the motherfucker out. And then it's like, oh God. And then I'm like, Phelps is texting me like, yo, why you keep making this bitch call me? But it's because I'm avoiding this bitch because I don't like her no more as I liked her in March. And now it's May. Sometimes I'll get like a vibe. That's what the thing with Rosa. Me and Rosa kind of click. And we both agreed that we probably met in the past life. Yeah. I think we were probably slaves. And our father might have been the master. Might have been in the house <laughs> slaves. But we hated the slave master more than any other nigga. But they couldn't understand that with our light skin. So we break out to freedom together. Okay. That's what that's, that's what I came up with? Yeah, when, that's what we think. No, shit, when, 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 that's what you thought. You think we met in a past life. I took it to slavery. I would, I would never be imagining me as a slave. We oh, see, you too, be thinking you too about, ill for that. Nah, we only winning in my dreams, sis. Okay. Every All time right. I dream, we up. Yeah, but no, but the, you introduced... <laughs> You, I'm here for that. You introduced the whole concept of uh, we must, must have met in past yeah. lives because we clicked instantly. And it was like... It wasn't like a click instantly, like sexual or not sexual, or friend or not friend, but it feel real like brotherly Organic. sisterly. This is the funny part, Dwayne. This is the hilarious though. part. I think I already told Phelps this. So we rolling off top. Way too, I mean, we just Joe shit to exchange our lives. We love each other. Boom, we talking. Super Joe. And mind you, because I contacted him first and I heard his music. Me and Phelps in the car. I'm half sleep. He start playing Rose and shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga, how who the fuck is this? He like, Rose, I'm like, the little pretty nigga? No way. Then he plays something else and it's even hotter. I'm like, oh my God, I contacted at Kim. Why the fuck isn't this on the ver- That's one thing I won't understand about you artists ever. I don't understand how when y'all make this hot ass shit, how you can keep it and have a plan for it. Because I know how I am. When I make a funny video and it's hilarious, I don't give a fuck if I got a booger. I'm posting it. Now we in, diff- we in the entertainment industry but we in different lanes. But y'all know how to like sit on stuff, when to drop it, how to drop right. it, or whatever. But sometimes it, it like I was like infuriated by some of that shit I heard. Like the fact that it's been here you made this win you know what i mean yeah. so that was my first contact i'm like i don't mean no disrespect what the fuck is wrong with you drop That's this the first thing you know first thing apologize for, you know in sidebar anytime somebody start out with i don't mean no disrespect all disrespect coming after the fact you know what i mean um but this is the funny part right so we talking we already born since we locked in from the gate i don't know if we got a weekend or money at the time right so I, he's on my close friends i'm in his close friends so i don't know what i said but i was saying something along the lines of like i ain't got no dick like i'll be horny or whatever i don't get fucked or whatever this nigga says sis 
Do you need me to help you with it? <laughs> like, but it's polite as possible. Like, like I envision him like helping me. You know what I mean? Like, this is for you, not me. Like, I'll fuck you, but this is for you because you needed his assistance with it. Bro, I laughed for 10 minutes. I called you, Phelps. I thought that shit was... Yeah, I might have called you a quality. I thought that me. shit was so funny She legit because, told me, bro. She sent me... The, I, I was just like, yeah, that's my man. Bro, like, when I tell you I was impressed by that because that's respectable. You know, like you around a bitch, she talking about, she keep talking about, like, are you trying to, are when you the nigga keep hits? trying to avoid it, he trying to avoid it, he yeah, like, all he's right. he's not trying to go there with me at all, <laughs> like, but all right, you keep mentioning going, it. I mean, at this point, since we over there. I right, mean, like, yeah. we already in this lane, yeah, what, do you want me to grab a condom? What you got going on? Like, what are you, you free now? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Drop the pin. <laughs> now, but that shit was funny shit, but that's how we was locked in, because it's like, a lot about me is like dirty, grimy, just ghetto. Like, you know, it's a piece of me. And like, I don't want to never run away from it. And I also feel like I'm a good person that can kind of like bring shit to the streets that they're not thinking about because of my delivery of it. Yeah. Niggas want to know what's going on. Niggas don't want to just be walking around. They don't know nothing that's going on. But when they watch CNN, it's, it's um, what's the word? I'm Intimidating. Using big words. Or you might have to stop to figure out what this word means to even figure out the news that they reporting on. You know, you listen to a bitch like me where every other word is nigga or fuck or pussy, but I'm giving it to you, you know. Sidebar, I figured out that I got all these square ass corp. A bitch just wrote me off of Wall Street. Like I got all these corporate like supporters, girls that never seen a hood, girls that don't have cousins that go to jail, whatever. And I had bitches really like, yo, thank you. Like I never looked at shit like I looked at it, you know, like that until you said it like that. I did a show in DC like a month or two ago. Um, I opened for uh what's boy name? He funny as shit. Um Jay Ski. He, he rolled with Duval, this nigga's hilarious. I opened for Jay Ski. And this girl comes to the show with her husband that just did 10 years in the feds. She gave this nigga a chance because of what I said about felons. Bro, they, they said thank you. They had a gift for me and everything. I'm the reason why they together been married a year. Bro, yeah. I'm changing lives, my nigga. Yeah, that shit. Dr. Phil or Dr. Mona, who I you mean, listening to, Lovejoy? No, I'm going to rash you the whole podcast, but it's because where you sitting at. We got trip, don't slip. Don't yeah, call trip, him that. Trip. You know I mean? That's trip, don't slip. By the way, he, 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 he blocked he, that out. That's his government. Trip. I didn't, oh, that's like real. I thought that was like your rap name or something. He's still Man, calling right. him that. I don't he be call stitching him. and shit. I'm he be doing I don't call him real name. name. So, what's your street name? Trip. That's trip don't slip. Are you the one that fucking made the crochet stuff? Yeah, nigga, you are talented, my Look, nigga. He, he crocheted this whole fit before we came. Oh, that's, that's, that's your real name. Are you the fucking that's, that's your real last name. Trip, trip. We talked already in the DM. So why the fuck you ain't made me nothing yet, nigga? I ain't know that was his real last name. I almost said. Because uh, uh. <laughs> then we get to the awful part where it's like, well, I gotta pay your real name is so much better than your your, your surname, bro. You know what I mean? Like. I yeah, wear it on a breakfast club. Name. I'm gonna wear it on a breakfast club. We on it. It's just whatever. If you need it, you still say that too. You understand? All right. I must say, Trip, your real name is way better than your street name. Yeah, love your, yeah, your love, real that's name love is Liz. I still. love that. Uh, he, uh, he do he do everything, but he, he made this whole fit today. Love Joy is like one of the greatest names ever. He that's really he, made your fit for real. Yeah, yeah. He put the extra yeah. details on it. Like he stitched. You know, he do the crochet and shit. He do a lot of shit. He, he do video editing. He did videos for me. I fuck with him. He wanted them. So listen. So invited to the barbecue. These two fellas are new in my friend circle. Um, we're all mutuals. We uh, love each other already. Um, Rosa is a model, a rapper. I don't know. Rosa does everything. Okay. Um, Thwag, this gentleman here, um, is a rapper. I don't know if you model or not. What, no, let's start that over. If you were to introduce yourself by what you do, what would you say? I'm Rosa and I do what? I'm an artist. Okay. <laughs> you niggas just too deep fly for me. What the fuck? Yo, see, what? now I'll be happy when other niggas come around and they mad regular that you know that it's just not me being whatever. It's not the same, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you walking on a tightrope, nigga. Um, Thwag, how would you if you could? Uh, I don't know. I'm a personality. Influencer, rapper. Yeah. I, do all, I do everything. Get dressed, take yeah. pictures, model. His Whatever better you want me to be at that time, I, I, I just... I make niggas want to do what I'm doing, I guess. Do you know what I would do to describe you? What? I would call you a legend because of the dancing, for sure, off the rip. For sure. Tell them about it. Uh, <laughs> I, it's yeah, a big deal to me. Nah, That's nah. a big deal to me. Nah, I was, I was and dead. I fucking, I used to, um, what is it called when you um, lurk? I would lurk on your page. Bro, this nigga 
went to an award ceremony. He was the main nigga getting the fucking awards. Niggas That's stood that. up and clapped for this motherfucker. Shout out Light Feet Awards. He is a part of Potter. the creators of the Light Feet, the Dance Light Feet out of New York City. That's yeah, a big fucking sure. deal. I don't know if you niggas know what Light Feet is. Every, I'm sure the New Yorkers is yelling at the TV every right time now. Light Feet, like, they go love yeah, this. What you about to say? I was gonna say every time I would, cause remember I told you how like I loosely followed it, being from down. You know, we caught wind of it, and every time I would bring up, so he was like, I know them. He, Whole time is it. him. It's all of it. I, well, I told him I was like, bro, nigga. I probably watched well, you. Well, like, for real, for real. I, I've been on, I've been on the internet since MySpace, like. So like a lot of people really really know me because my first rap name the Green videos remember the Green your first rap videos what my first name before Thwag was Jay Spice and I was like hey, just yo. I was just a nigga on MySpace just taking fly pictures getting fly just doing a lot of shit I'm doing now yeah. but in two thousand like six and shit. But, but when you was feet, on MySpace then, was you dancing then? Yeah, I started dancing. At first, it was just pictures and just being fly. Okay. Then I took that to dancing. It was a Harlem dance. I'm from Queens. Shout out to Far Rock. I'm from Far Rockaway. But All right. I was the first uh, dancer from Queens because it was a Harlem dance, uptown dance. The first mm-hmm. Queens person uploading videos. So at that time, in like 2006, there was only like six people uploading videos of Light Feet. Okay. I was definitely one of them. Yeah. And at that time, we was getting 100,000 views, 200,000 views, but views didn't matter at that time. Yeah. yeah. We, was just, we was just dancing. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I guess you could say we was viral. And like, for sure. Like Y'all was, for yeah. sure. And, and this is back then where, for sure, if it, niggas didn't understand the power of the internet, but if anybody mm. didn't, niggas didn't. Like, mm. the street, the trenches I, did not I, I know. I still didn't until now. Because even at that time, I was just uploading and just be like, yeah, y'all can't fuck with me. But then, like, it was like, I... I endure like going around everywhere. Like I used to be a badass kid. So mm-hmm. I used to be switching schools a lot, but everywhere I went, they knew they the knew videos. Who you were. Yeah. They knew the videos. So that's when I started picking up this one rap shit and wanting to do something. Cause at first we were just getting dancing. Right. But it's like, but then oh, it's like what am I do with this? It's like I'm lit, but it's before the word lit was lit. So I'm like, all right, I'm lit. So I'm just keep but what am I going to do with this notoriety? Am I just going to sit with it or am I going to make something shake? Just keep and that's where making music comes in at. Yeah. So yeah, so we started at Life Feet. Shout out to Harlem and everything. I was doing that. Definitely one of the creators. Everybody in that shit, that's the person I, I know. They know me, J Spice. But now we thwag. Um, yeah. I, I was going on tour with um, Prodigy. Shout out to Prodigy. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Going tour doing what? At, yo, you know what's crazy? I'm glad you asked me that. It's my first, first of all, it's my first interview to ask me, anybody asked me, ask me what I'm do. But I was going on tour at first as a hype man. Okay. For my man Bugs Baguettes. But Prodigy used to take liking mm-hmm. to me so much and he used to like be on the side. R.I.P. Prodigy. He used to be like, yo, what you doing? Like rap. Like, yo, you wanna get on this song? And I, I couldn't even rap at the time. He used to give me the chance. But he used to fuck with me, hard body. And I'm talking about I went on like 60 day tours like three times for him. Mm. And I spent his last days with P. Like dressing, if Damn. you ever look at like Pete dressing and shit, and before his last days, it was like real skaterish, real young. It was because he kept the good energy around. Yeah, he just was like, you know what I'm saying, putting the energy to him and shit. Yeah, and last piece of shit. yeah he, he put the R. battery R. in my to back. Your friend. Yeah, thank you. And he put the battery in my back to be Thwack Lord. I ain't gonna front. Shout in out what way though? Too. In what way? Um, I, I ain't gonna front. I, I lived the tour. I, I lived a famous tour life before. I was like 18, 21. I'm, I'm, I, I was mad young. I was living the like, hop in the Sprinter security life, go do the show, get up out of there, get the paid back in. See, so your eyes wide open, like, what the fuck? Yeah, now it's just, I'm be dry. I be sleep by nine o'clock, but it's like, you gonna keep this shit going. It's the life that chose us, you know I mean? Yeah. Where were y'all go though? Like, all over the country? Did all you go over out the country? The country? I, I, I was so young. I used to travel the country just touring with them, like, all over the United States. Like, every city. I went to every city. That's any city crazy. you could think of. That's every crazy. city. Talk and you with Prodigy, but it's a Mob Deep thing, right? It's a Mob Deep, but my man's books, but guests used to open. open and I was with Pro- I was with Bugs, but Bugs brought me into this situation. But as we touring every he day, he takes you under his wing. He used to just, like, watch, like, how I used to move and, like, how I used to dress and. And you style you could you you had to cause we that I right, keep it real I'm straight like bro what's up you gonna style me or what's going on I feel like nowadays cause I always say that like um like I know I want Phelps to style me one time I feel like now that young like fly nigga is the nigga that style the girls like I like it's who dress you better than a nigga that's attracted to women you know it's almost yeah, like I, I, it's funny because I know fashion I know women fashion more than I know niggas that's how it be with y'all no, you feel like you feel like. As a, it, you feel like just styling people in general, 
for you? Is it a difference if somebody was bigger or smaller? Like, would it be easier or harder, or is it the same? Nah, I dress any it woman. Just be, it just be what what people call for. I mean, you ain't just about to pop up with no Gucci shit out of like with no pockets and shit. So it just be like, yeah, see what I mean? What? We both got on Gucci shit. It just be like I what I'm budgeting, but you don't nigga. need a million dollars to look he good. He got Gucci on, so don't. I got right. Gucci out. Look, we both wear Gucci today. I got one designer shirt and I wore it swag was going. I'm not playing. I got it out of my basement, my nigga. Sure they, they can't hear me, bro. <laughs> the fuck? Make sure they get the wallets out. Now you it's just style though. <laughs> style goes with style. Style, aesthetics. It's just how you trying to look oh, for shit. that. Oh shit. All right, trippy boy shit out. All right. You feel me? Yeah, Trip don't slip. Rosa says he got Gucci dick. Truth now, but you gotta tell him. We, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta tell him that we. You definitely gotta tell him we just definitely started talking yesterday. You gotta tell him how we just started. No, talking. no. That's so why I didn't get that part out. We didn't get that. Okay, so reverse. Y'all know. You know I got ADD threads. So this episode has been brought to you by BetterHelp. Oh my God, cousins! Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? Like, you know what you should do, what you need to be doing, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Listen, y'all know life is tough. We all face challenges that leave us feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or depressed, if not all three. I'm not different from y'all. Shoot, I'm all going through it right now. But there's always a way to get the help you need, even from the comfort of your bedroom. If you're open to starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. There's no time like the present to focus on your mental health. If you're open to starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. There's no time like the present to focus on your mental health. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp today at BetterHelp.com slash DCMWG to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash DCMWG to get 10% off your purchase today. Check them out today, guys, and tell them I sent you. Basically, me and Thwag and had... And she banging with her nails today. Yeah, it was just crazy. Because, like, come on. But, um, shout out to y'all. Sue will. I speak a little of that, you know. Um, <laughs> me and Thwag have a lot of mutuals. Like, a lot of mutuals. Like, we're going to be in the same section. We're going to be in the same studio. In fact, he mentions, like, I think you came to my studio session. The whole time in the studio, gritting on this nigga, not knowing it's his session. <laughs> Meaning he paid for it. That's crazy. But... So sure. we're mutual. You wasn't gritting on him then. I remember that. Every time you I didn't look at too. me, I looked at him. Okay, I was. I was. I you, let's let, let's just silence it. Thwag. When, I when me and you locked eyes, am I not giving you nasty looks? This was before that. Or did you, you don't pay attention? I, I, I take the I, Leo I, I, route. I, I be I be on tunnel vision, so I don't see shit. I see you, but I'm like I, I already like, know we not we don't talk, so I'm not like looking your way to look for a high or nothing. So I'm not like being like when we Joe. was in when we was in you see don't pull a joke hard because you're from Queens. I'm just saying I I, I, I be I'm I want to ask you about that later. Are y'all like that? Because I think that's a, a negative of Philadelphia that we so anti this is, Joe. This is in Philly it, too, right? <laughs> it makes you what the studio the studio session was in At Philly. OB. Matt Ox was there. Yeah, that was it was a lot of us. Yeah. But um, and I was there with the mask on. Yeah, you were there. And I yeah, met you, but I had a mask yeah, on. You didn't know that. Cause I don't you had like four in the morning. Like, what the you was talking about green. You had yeah, that's Cody right there doing here. I was thugging. I'm like, what the fuck is Cody right there? It's that day when you ordered when you ordered the lobster and shit. You yeah. said what you said about don't come right here through I was like, what's she doing here? Not not like in a bad way, but it's like, you know, that I know, was I know random. who you are, but, but that like, was like random. The, it was like four in the morning. Yeah, it was random. It was lit though. But um either way, we have a lot of mutuals. We shared the section in Wilmington. I even remember what I had on that day, and that's the day <laughs> I feel like I, I fought you the most because I was like, you probably now, that didn't was see. Real, uh, at, the, at the spot. Because somebody that walks was up and Falling says, up. Yeah, yeah, that no, was this real. Is, I, I know that. we make a light of it, but this is a fucking learned lesson this for my brothers and sisters, my black people. We're showing y'all conflict yeah, resolution. Seriously. Live. This is conflict Reality live shit. Conflict I'm grown. So, I got ADD, and I may or may not abuse Zannies in high school. A lot of stuff <laughs> I can't keep track of. I don't know what the fuck I was mad at Thrag about, but I was mad as shit. Mm -hmm. So, it must have been you. It was either you or TG. Somebody comes to me and say... My man about to come in the section. I and me. I say, fuck no, nigga. And it had to be you because you go, bitch. And then he comes in the yeah. section. <laughs> so now I've been bullied. My boy. 
<laughs> That's your boy. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh yeah, disrespect. Y'all, y'all don't know these niggas is up here because of me. I'm just letting my let, letting my niggas rock and get their thing off and get they. You know I mean? Cause I this gotta, comes pussy. Everybody knows. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, but I like. I need my. These, you need these, a break, daddy. They, you they, gotta tag somebody in. And these are the people that push me before I got here. Or was, you're very you know protective of me. I feel like you ain't gonna have me around no weirdos. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, so go ahead. My fault. Damn, um, I, I know I was. In, I know exactly what night. Damn, it was that vibe. I bro, know that. it was Damn. that vibe, and it was like Facts. I don't know if you I was felt just <laughs> exactly because first of all, that club is dumb, empty on a regular basis, overpriced, corny as shit. Not gonna say the name, Sweet Eleven. Either Facts. way, Facts. we in the section. It's a big. You ever see them old Western movies when a big dust ball rolled through the club? <laughs> that rolls through. Then here come this little nigga with all his jewelry on, and I gotta sit with him. It's 10 sections in the fuck. like, why is this nigga in my section? And I'm like, moaning. It ain't, I'm like, yo, it ain't even like it. <laughs> Bro, I don't even drink, my nigga. Exactly, yeah. So I need niggas in the section or we about to waste this alcohol because I don't drink alcohol. Damn. Last time I had somebody guess like, niggas wear me a bottle of wine. Like, like nigga, you can take that back. I and don't drink. the whole thing the whole time. I'm like, Mona, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm it's living, not that I'm deep. It never was that deep. Like, bro, like, it could have been envy because you could dress. I'm a real bitch, you know. And I used to have grills and the feds took them. You know what I mean? Either way, so we had this invisible beef. He's a Leo, so he doesn't give a fuck about nobody else on this planet. Sidebar, I don't give a fuck about this bitch that got this invisible beef. He keeps trying to eye fight me. I respect that. Some niggas might have smacked me in the head with a brick. You know what I mean? Nah, I didn't see it, though. So I feel like at some point you have to notice it. You know what I mean? Because it's weird. Like, we don't talk. We don't, you know. We say are, hi to everybody else and we don't say hi. Shit weird. And we're in a loving group. We greet each other with hugs, kisses, smiles, love. Everybody, you know, Guys and ladies. No homo. And then it stopped. Boom. With us, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. And not to mention, we have a bunch of mutuals. So, um, and this has been going on. This is because I'm not a petty bitch, but I can't get petty. This has been going on since 2020. 2021 like it's been a long time of nothing of a bunch of nothing so back to me like what's up bitch you want to rumble because i smacked the shit out you i was like what well, what's up and then we rumble and then we cool, yeah, we cool. You gotta nah it, it don't be worth it man it don't nah. be worth it and you resolve you gotta you gotta, you gotta yeah, man, if anybody you got problems with or don't know why you got problems with it, you know what I mean? In this situation, to me, you're the bigger person. I feel like I would have been the bigger person in person. So we end up in Cancun together. We end up at another <laughs> section. Somewhere where we could talk, I probably would have said, bro, you know I just hated you for a long time and I didn't even know why, and then we would have talked. You DM me, you say... I want to know what you said. I'm not going to read it verbatim, I but said, I I'm can't. A, I said, I'm, I'm thoroughly shit. I ain't even with this, this weird shit. Because it's such a weird thing. You know weird. what I mean? I don't like weird shit. Like, why we being weird? Why are you being weird to me? That's li- literally. <laughs> literally. That's like, why? Like, come on. <laughs> no, Thwag. And I'm telling you, I, I know. So he probably I've, you, I don't know. I've I'm lurked sorry, on your sorry. um your page, so I knew like some stuff about you, and I knew definitely for sure that I liked how you dressed and shit, right? So, cause it's like, you know, some people would have got that DM and they would have let it sit there, left you on scene, say something back in the month. I'm not corny like that. I was nah, happy. I, I, I ain't gonna front. If you ain't on my DM, I'd have just went to your page and be like, yo, open your DM. Would you? Yeah, I read. You, you had, you had it? like six hours, maybe four, four, four to six hours before they open a DM before you tell them to open a DM. Is that the window? Tell them to open it. I, I don't Dwight, what's your name on here? Tell me your name on here. That's, that's one of your creations, bro. <laughs> what did he say? What Rosa just say, y'all? <laughs> he said, he said, I don't know. That's one of my creations. Yeah. You got tell six me, hours up in the DM. I would tell you to open the DM. And open. then you got flop. You got like two hours after that. And then the whole, you, everything delete. You See? unsend it? Yeah. What am I sitting there for? Right. Oh, right. yeah, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will unsend them, but I ain't gonna tell them to go look at it. They don't oh, no, no, because you know what I'm saying? No, you That's respect. a little OD, but it nah, depends nah. on who it is. No, sometimes you gotta respect people busy because I check my requests every once a week. Yeah. So I can see my comments all day. You gotta, you gotta understand the algorithm of the internet. We're not gonna be biased. You know Nigga, thwag in the live all caps over your DM, bro. Yo. And see, I'm opposite. I DM. Take the DM more than the comment. Cause it's, the comments is just. We was on the phone. He said, it's money I'm about to hit her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I hit you right back. Dwag, what's your name on here? Dwag, too bougie. And talk about... Dwag, what, babe? Dwag, too bougie. First of all, bro, too bougie. Dwag, too bougie. Number two? T-H-W-A-G, we let, too We're giving this nigga too much. We've been saying dwag, dwag. I know everybody probably, what the fuck is that? Explain the word and how you scold us when we say the word. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's, let's talk about... You know what I mean? Because we just keep... Nigga, when you ask a nigga how he got his name, when he started saying what he's saying, he didn't say what I knew he was supposed to say. I just stopped listening. First of all, it's like, 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 like,
Swag like swag with a little, but we don't say swag. So we be on like swag shit, like swag lord for real. I'm like swag lord, like create a. Swag is, is 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 you take the s off of swag and it's th. Yeah, like a like a, like a lisp. You know what I'm saying? When you talking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, swag. It sounds a little bit more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? When you say swag and swag, like swag <laughs> sounds like I got boots on. You feel me? Swag don't really appeal me. You feel me? It don't really rub me. Swag right. sounds like LGBT. We call, yeah, different. Back. But who that? But yeah. That mister? Real shit though. Oh, that was plot movie. That was a good yeah, plot. Yeah, nah. That was one of them good plotters. <laughs> Dwag, please find your Instagram. I can't you, find you it. Can't find my I don't know. I followed you, nigga. But um he's the bigger person. He DMs me. I talk back and we're I'm telling my business two voice notes in. And we had a good conversation. We have kids the same age. Let me see. Thank you. Finally, I found it. All right, so, so he says, hold ahead. on real quick. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, he yeah. says, hey, I don't know what the fuck's going on for the longest, but I'm thorough. You'd be lucky to be my friend, bitch. So this shit your last chance. What's up? And I was like, you right, my nigga. Can you teach me how to dress? He was like, how much you got? No cap. He said, <laughs> when we start talking about him, treat me how to dress. He said, it's all about what, what you, you get got. afford. Yeah, facts. That's real. So I said, go ahead, go, go in the rainbow. Go to God of Love. I get you right in the rainbow. Give me the talk. Really, matter of fact, we're going to vlog. I like thrifting. No, we're going to vlog one day. We're going to do the Target challenge, and we're going to go thrift. We're going to get see if far we can get out of Target and shit. What the fuck is a Target challenge? Did you make that up? You go to, nah, you go to Target, and you just go try to get as far as you could out of Target and show people that you got drip without having I don't to spend niggas that's, 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 I'm about to say, Target that's a go, stupid you can't ass challenge because Target got a lot of nice stuff. Nah, but but yeah, but now people think you got to spend the money. Man, I with all the shit you put on it. If they let us walk in, <laughs> soon as we walk in, LP coming out, y'all going another like, way. Yeah, we doing that. If me and Rose are going, <laughs> just put your orders in with us. <laughs> we <laughs> got just it. Put it in your back. Cash they got too much <laughs> Don't you need to know. They got snacks and everything. First there. of all, That's this like nigga talking about with, with clothes. Hey, trip. <laughs> this nigga talking about He's putting in your book wild bag. Wild boots. We're elegant. We going to the register getting empty plastic nah, bags. We about to make our bags. This nigga said Target is wild with clothes. Those are that pack they back, like literally put it down their shirt or their mm, back, and it's just no I boosted back. for like 12 years, no cap. I, I was a booster. Too. No, I was a booster, baby. I was a stealer. I Were steal a- everything. Swipe, steal, boost, all that. Right, but have you ever been a booster? I boosted. I was boosting for like a week straight before I got caught. But yeah. selling stuff. <laughs> Macy's, Polo's, all that. That's so the only difference. You had, you, had, you, had, you, had, you had all the they rips and the clothes. I think that's why I like distressed clothes so much, because I ain't gonna front. During the whole high school, I was wearing mad rips in my clothes, because I was popping them. <laughs> <laughs> and only the thieves know what that hole be about right on your love handle. Right in the right in the motherfucking either here or right there. Now you know it was lit when they start putting the beep under the hoodie. Thank you, nigga. I'm just never putting this on my head. I done had some black and blue ink on the waistband of my jeans. Oh god. You know what's funny? Most of the ink, <laughs> you know what's funny? Most of those ink beeps don't even make noise. Cause it's like it's always yeah, levels oh, it's of ink, yeah. yeah it's always levels of protection. So that level of protection is if you try to take this off in the store, now it's on your hands. We know you stealing, fuck so you can walk out with it. Fuck all that. Statue of limitations, right? Right? Right. So how th- many th- years, th- motherfucker? Thwag, fuck it. Allegedly. Allegedly. So Thwag be on his and uh, um, he he Grand Theft Auto is his. Okay, know, okay. Back in the day, baby, baby New Jersey Drive. Get the crazy cars. So Thwag had a situation where he, this this not stolen car, but he Thwag had the souped up SRT Hellcat. He was one of them niggas. Get on your nerves on the highway. You feel me? Loud as shit. Oh, ba- I like the race. Let's race, man. No, man. listen, my baby had the had the um had the had the vanishing plate. You feel me? <laughs> That's the booster. So we're not paying for no tolls. No yeah. cat. We Transport use them at the mall. You feel me? So no, but listen, it, it get worse. This nigga on Instagram, straight up, he get you. He get yuled. He got the shit on his IG. I think it was like might have been close friends. I don't know. It could have been regular. I got it on my page right now too. He got the shit. He get yuled. He's sitting there with the cops behind him. And he was like, I don't want to be here no more. And and he fuck took him. Fuck taking him. No, 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 no. Cut this out. No, Mona. He didn't even speed off. The nigga like pulled off. <laughs> he ain't like try to step on it and leave. He was like, Is all that over with? Yeah, nah, I got, I got locked up for that. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, oh, because it was over. Yeah, okay. Took my car. You know what's crazy? But openly <laughs> running from the police on the internet, on camera, is so disrespectful. The sad like, part about crazy. it is I've like, seen it. I've, it's so common. I've seen it. And he thousand. didn't get caught that night. Remember, he was in a strip club. Like, yeah, they didn't. They didn't find nah, me. I got. I got. They didn't catch him till he didn't get caught till months later. He pulled off. He's not supposed to get caught. I got. I got booked two days later, and that was shit. That should change my life. Ain't gonna lie. Dumb shit like that. Nigga, do a lot of shit for this internet. You ever do time? 
I never do time, but I lost a lot of money and yeah. a lot of shit. They got what they wanted. You know, to me, time is anything past a week. So you ever do nah, months? I never, I never did time. I've been uh-huh. locked up a lot of time, but I lost uh, with the situation he told me. I lost a lot. Everything. Yeah, lost paid lot, cash yeah. for the car. They took the car. Ran up in the crib. Found all my cash. Everything. My dumb ass, the usual. That focus on your credit. Makes focus the on your car debit. like they take undrivable to them. They act like you can't get it repaired. Like it's done. No, they took that bit. They seen yeah. my shit. Yeah, I, I, I was on some GTA it's a, it's shit. It's another cop somewhere, probably Oklahoma driving. Yeah, oh yeah, they <laughs> you is. bought that. Bar. You know what's so crazy? Like, I remember being like twenty something, and then because I, when I was a kid, everybody drove Johnnies. That's the Philly yeah. we called Johnnies stolen cars. That was just the thing. You know, nigga, I'm in. We in eighth grade. My eighth grade fucking science class boy pull up at Walmart. You need a ride? No, nigga, this is a Lexus. Like, what the fuck? Um. And that's how it was back then, and I would be like kind of scared to get in cars with boys. Bro, in my 20s, it finally clicked. Like, it's a nice amount of niggas that they don't pull over. Like, that's just not yeah, what they do. Not, yeah, like, so, bro, I never, can name five shit mutuals. The mutual a, that me and you was talking about in the DM, not, Chubby. Yeah. He's not pulling over, my nigga. If we live in a society Forever. right now, what are you, what are you doing? What, is he? what are we doing? If I'm in one of them things, we out. I'm not stopping because you, all you're doing is harassing me. I'm out. Mind you. Oh, it ain't even nothing left in this shit. Mind you. <laughs> mind you. You I could said, oh, die. Yo, when you was you going could, there, I said, nah, he kept it too hard. You could die on the fucking, um, on the traffic stop. Yeah. yeah Cut now this you out. <laughs> Yo, <Hold on. laughs> um, they trying to play you, Dwight. They you nah, could die true. on the fucking traffic stop, Dwight. Get next pullover, motherfucker. Be too jumpy, too I, antsy, I, and blow I, your I, head off. And I got kids now. I got I got a thirteen year old boy, so I be thinking about that now because he could just be walking outside as him. And he don't even understand. And my son, he take, don't understand. He take care of the nigga, now. not pictures and all that. It's not just pictures. He, really, he don't understand what Dwight said. The kids don't understand like what real life is. Like they outside mm-hmm. drilling and shit, and you know what I'm saying. Like the cool thing to do right now is gang signs and all that. I get mm-hmm. that shit, but it's just like you know what I'm saying. I, I got a, I got a 13 year old boy, so he could go outside by himself right now to the movies, and the cops could be on some. Yeah. Thing. Mm-hmm. He just eat black young boy, I'm yeah. Fuck age whatever. Yeah. So I be thinking about that shit now, just because I got a son. Because if I was just thinking about me, I'd just be still doing the dumb shit. Like, oh God. Damn. Yeah. He don't know how to act. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I do. I, you know what I'm saying? We've been, yeah, been through. It's a different time now. I, would, I don't went to yeah. boot camp. There's no boot camp for these kids. That's right. Like fuck no. These There's niggas no getting camp. 20 years at 15. There's no more boot camp. I learned what I don't want to do and what I do want to do. Or mm-hmm. how far I could push it. These niggas now don't know. No. They got the internet, clout, and dead or alive. You know what's ill about them too? If the nigga up the street is poor, but he got three bodies... He's the illest, like he the littest nigga. If the nigga down the street got a couple dollars, but his hustle's a little weird, he's a fucking weirdo. Right. They respect the shooter. That now, like we always respected the shooter to a certain extent, but these niggas glorify like serial killers. Like these niggas have a bunch of, mind you, some of these niggas have done drills or killed people where they ain't even hit the right nigga, but it's just another. On a scoreboard, you know, it's another number. So it's like they're fucked, bro. My my daughter, we got kids the same age. I found out she got a little nigga. You know, it's like you know, I go check this nigga page out, bro. It's fifty dead niggas in this nigga bio. I mean, every it's it's so many hashtag of dead oh, I people, <laughs> bro. I said, listen, so that's your little boyfriend. <laughs> you know, you want to go make out with the nigga, take a walk, hold his hand. You know, they gonna kill y'all. The, I, the, his Alps is winning. His whole squad did. That's who you want to run around with. You want to run around with a street nigga and all his friends did. He don't get no get back. The motherfuckers is <laughs> no dead. Get back is crazy. It's all dead. Ain't no yeah. way this motherfucker 14 and it's 50 dead niggas and his damn kids. Motherfucker got airbrush t shirts. Shit look like mug shots. All but, little but dead you know, niggas. You know, some of them, he probably don't even know them like that. He just yeah, wanted, that's mean, the other side. You know, he ain't trying though. That's crazy. No. That's what but that's, that, that's but cool that too. goes to my point. And you understand what I'm saying, folks? It's right now, a kid might think it's more lit to pretend like it's my man that died. You understand how Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Especially if he was cool or something like that. Come on. If everybody loved him. Or if oh, he was yeah, a shooter. I, I, I met him that one time, so it's, I'm about to put it in the It's weird because That's a good point though, because I forgot. Us as youth, we um 
our thing was we cherish tangibles too much. Money, drip like possessions. Looking back, motherfucker, I would rather have something of that magnitude as opposed to some invisible shit that really don't mean nothing with the kids nowadays, with the invisible respect, the invisible clout. Because invisible... when you think about it, when you got the tangible stuff, I could show you my watch. I could show you my car. I'd rather go get... I'd if want... you not in a certain lifestyle, you don't even know how many bodies I got. But... It's so real with these little niggas now. They document that shit. Mm -hmm. Bro, I dragged this nigga Trap Lord Ross. And they, you know they what? Little, man. They, 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 they tripping. I ain't gonna front. This shit. This dude. shit's sick. Like, they, it's they literally wild. sick. Yo, I had a young bitch tell me, oh, yeah, because he all right. He cool, but like, yeah, he be, he, he, he drop shit, but he don't drop shit because he just shoot a nigga sometimes, hospital. he ain't killed nobody. I'm like, bitch, what? Like what's that? What's that song? Do you even kill? Yes, that was our whole thing. He'd have like, been cuter if if he. If what, he what, 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 what do you have been having if you would have dropped shit though? Her whole. <laughs> He'd have been hotter. <laughs> a little bit, but it, her whole point was, you feel me, like, bro? Yeah, he do shoot shit, but he don't kill shit. And this is a fucking twenty year old girl talking yeah, to me. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. A bitch yeah. like when I came up. We was kind of the weird bitches. We carry guns. We did this. We did that. But it was a selected group. Yeah. Now all Everybody these little bitches is, want a piece of it. So if they can't do it, they scared to do it themselves. They want to sit right by it. Mm -hmm. Sexy Ray did that interview that went viral because she talking about how she's going to go shootouts with her nigga. You know, they coming out front. They looking. They niggas flatten the tires. Come spin the block. Shoot the car up. She running. That's the whole thing right now. You know, and I got a 13-year-old girl. Like, you see how our fears kind of... Yeah, 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 nah. I really, I really worry about that now because it's like niggas grow. Up, I mean, niggas grow up in the hood, like doing all types of shit. Niggas ain't even got. We have to point out we at the age. Thank God that we ain't even got to prove none of that shit no more. These motherfuckers is proving it. These little niggas. They are proving you. it. Yeah, these little niggas will take your shit. You gotta move. You know what I mean? And I just worry about my little nigga going out. I just hope he watched enough to. He's smart. No. It ain't even be smart because even I was smart as shit and I was still doing dumb shit because I'm saying that as a boy. It, it don't matter about being smart. I'm smart as shit. You could be smart. I know to do it to this much, but this much will get you killed now. Mm -hmm. Before, it would just get you into a fight or yeah. get you into, you know what I mean? Yeah. Grab by your ear. You know, yeah. you know old school shit. Yeah. Now, that should get you smoked, get you 20 years. You ain't doing shit. Bro, um, I was talking to one of my male friends and... You know, in the area he was in, he grew up around there his whole life or whatever. So a nigga from the other side, young boy, walks to the poppy store where he at. So he said, yo, Demona, growing up around here, we always knew if we took that walk, we might get strolled. Like, we might, niggas might yeah, jump up. Yeah, so, shit. right. So the little nigga in there, why he getting this shit? By the time he come out, it's two, three niggas out front for him. They want to whoop his ass. He jumped right on the phone. Bro, bring the strap openly. Bring the strap. These niggas playing with me. I'm on such and such. He was like, yo, what is you doing, young boy? Why did you get your ass whooped? Like, that's a part of life, man. Mm -hmm. My ass whoop has made me a man, da da da. That nigga looked at him like, you can get popped too, old head. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Bring the strap down. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, these niggas can't shoot. They don't practice. They don't want to practice. Like, I can recall when I first started carrying guns, begging niggas to take me to the woods to shoot the guns that I own. I wanted to make sure that. I remember my first, like, gun that I bought, like, I hate this. <laughs> The first weapon, there's no way I could say this and feel comfortable. <laughs> the first time I've ever really, you know, put the words together yourself, it had like a kickback on it. It was a 40, but it was a feather trigger and it was no safety on it. But when you shot it, it was like a, gah, 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 gah. it would do that. And then with whole 17, you put one in here, it would be 18. But I, my fear was that bitch was going to do this and I wasn't going to be able to hold it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, telling it, where can I go at the time where I lived? I'm like, yo, where can I go to the woods? And, you know, like that was important to yeah. me that I knew how to use it. You know, it's like, bro, I have seen more than one out of my own eyeballs a nigga do this. Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. Niggas do that, bro, because they scared to kick Drop like the it. smoke. All that shit. Yeah, I don't hot, see it. All types of shit. Yeah. Wanna see it. They don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. That's what it is. Fuck all the other shit. They don't want to see it. You want to kill that man, but you don't even want to see it. Now you want to see and it. And it's crazy, too, because even though it's the youth, because we know it's always pecking order and shit, too, we don't, uh, we got to, it, it's easy for a young nigga to hold it, I mean, an older person to hold a, a young person accountable too, especially us because we're not the ones sending them. But niggas be sending them a lot of times too, and I feel like people 
discount that part of it. We just say young nigga. Sending them like what? Paying them? Yeah. Paying uh, them or paying them with other shit. You gotta with, think the shit. motive. You yeah. gotta fake shit. With yeah. the you gotta, you, you gotta paying think. Them though. We don't, when we was coming up, it was still niggas in their 20s and 30s that got their hands dirty. Now niggas don't get their hands dirty at this age. They send send them, I'm gonna yeah. send a little nigga that don't know and so he can crash but it's, out. I feel like it, you're right, but I feel like it always been that way. He but that, that, I was they, saying, they, they tell I think him it's that been, too. Always been like, nah. It, I remember when. I mean, I mean, I don't want to disagree, but I will say when I, I when I was coming up, it was niggas still that was old that we knew to watch out for. That's what I'm I saying. I totally now, agree with that. We, I, I totally like agree with that. Like, yeah, my, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, my, I'm not scared of nobody over thirty, my, bro. All the, really not. I ain't gonna front. Right. All the they big, used to exist though. Right. All the big homies in my hood was definitely sending all the young niggas. Right. That I agree with what you're saying, but what me and him is saying is that. It's always been that because of the whole your case ain't gonna be that bad. You that's why you go out and do it. You That'd be the whole thing, and that's been forever, bro. You're a juvenile. You could take this case. I remember this little uh, dark skin nigga. He ended up being a comedian, but that was his first viral video. The old head is taping him, like, yo, they about to pull us over. You gonna take this from me? Cause you'll be right home. He was like, hell no. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck no, I'm not, not doing I said, that. Yeah, I'm agreeing. I said but, we gotta um, old heads got to take a little bit of accountability because they are part of the. You you know what I mean? Yeah. I just think them niggas is fucked up. I feel like they the zany babies. We was the crack babies. They the zany babies, and they fucked up. I think we yeah, the, but we the young, like, young niggas don't buy their first gun. Somebody give them their first strap. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Buying it? They don't got no bread. Yeah, my hub, they don't have money. And my hub, we in turn with half. Yeah, we they finding, taking that motherfucker. We was finding them shit to they my hub. They taking it. <laughs> they finding take that em. shit in the fucking Exactly. Decades. You found it, you split it. <laughs> Nobody pulled Turtle. up Dolo with four, five hundred or three. Or, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Y'all was, sharing a gun. Yeah, that's no, what I, I was saying. We were doing taking it, taking it. I wasn't saying buying it. I was saying taking it from the beginning. But it's like things change. Like, bro, as a kid... A nigga first charge was a Stoli, was a Johnny. A nigga's stealing. first charge was yeah. stealing. A nigga first charge was maybe a fight that went too far. Never killing or shooting. Oh, Never, bro. A nigga or, like or 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 your shit. first hustle will be maybe somebody get you a pack and you mm. running that off. They got you tight on the case working on the block. You know you running doing this. I know little boys that they first real hustle was somebody paid them to kill somebody. Nah, Straight we up. Didn't, we didn't grow up with niggas first charge was killing. That's wild. We grew up nah, where it was something before the killing. Stabbing was, but I'm, I'm did fighting. you hear what I said? Yeah. Imagine a nigga first hustle, his first made of money he made is because he smoked a nigga. That's young nigga shit. 13 though. years old. That's that's that 1997 that's till nine. Yeah, that's that. Till 90, now. Nah, not, not even 97 because any 90 baby is cool. 20, it's the two two thousand one. Yeah, these little new fuckers wild. Who feel would like, ever feel like? When would you ever think that? Babies, Y two K. Remember when? The, remember you thought the lights was gonna go out on um, when? <laughs> Xanax. I'm telling you, um, Lexapro babies. Um, <laughs> no, what the fuck was I about to say, y'all? Um, 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 but. Yo, I was so wild my whole life. I never thought I would be the bitch like, no, it's these young niggas. That's that generation. Because back in the day, it was my generation that was fucked up. We was wild and retarded and stupid. And that's how they discussed us and judge us. See, because y'all this and all that. I'm now that old bitch saying that about the young people. I don't even, but it's true. I don't even look at the young niggas like from, from, from us like they- They scary. Uh, Nah, but I just I don't I don't look at them like oh we more I just look at them like y'all different, bro. It's so just, real. Y'all just it's, I feel like I look at it like a, a spectrum thing, bro. I I Left remember right, I used to I always had like I used to have real bad uh the shit I said you got when you mad driving cussing people out. What's that called? Road rage. I said road rage, bro. I can distinctly remember when the tide changed and that nigga pull a light about 16 and I'm like, you got it, bro. Go ahead. You, you can go ahead and get over. Because that nigga will smoke you at the light. No yeah. problem. Like, excuse me, sir. I stepped on your shoe. I apologize about that. As soon as they go, man, I don't know. Oh, here, you being weird. Oh, my bad, young blood. <laughs> excuse me, but, baby. But that's, you know what that is, though? You do that with somebody. You you gauge. You got edu- like Like he said. It's no boot. You had a boot camp. You had a whole. We had a boot camp. You see what I'm saying? Right because now we had because it's camp, also bro. the wrong young nigga walk up to you and you size him up and down. You see he got a shiesty on with no motherfucking strap in his joint. You gonna step to him? You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you still gauging the situations because you had your boot camp. You not letting every person that's younger than you like, just I'm step on. over you. You're, you're not. You, you, I've seen. It. I you just watch my kid, approach. You whip your kid ass. 
I would never physically use physical. <laughs> I would never use like physical tactics it. to get my Black kid. Black people with that, whatever I it means. I stomp niggas out, bro. I grab this <laughs> by here like I never met her. You hear me? She don't get that crazy, I though. Now, now my, I'm saying, no, I got whipped with a belt, but I... I whipped her ass so much, that bitch went to Philadelphia for the summer. Bro, I whipped her ass never, one time in the spring, ain't see that nigga to fall. I never, I never beat my kids. I just feel like my, I be feel like so, so stern, I never need to. And then when I, when I feel like I want to whip my kid ass, I be thinking about that. Like, damn, how mad was my mom for her to be whipping my ass like it that? It was just the sign of the times. No, because it's like, if I whip my kid the ass where I got my ass whipped, I would feel bad about myself after that ass whipping. I yeah. hope she feel how I be thinking. Because <laughs> that's crazy. But, but bro, it's... You it know, was more... She was, it was more about, bro, she was wild. I was like a chicken with my head cut off. Right now mom. was a different time but bro, right we now. Was, we was raised by black women in the 90s. Black men in the 90s, it was kind of like you had to really... You, more than now, bro, cracking, like, come on, bro. It ain't, they, they really I'm cherish saying, us, I'm my saying, nigga. it's different, because these still motherfuckers is bad. Maybe they need ass whooping. Maybe, maybe we need to be I bad think that's, Let me tell you something else. In the black community, it, it, it was always a thing where you did something bad in your neighborhood, right? And Miss Louise could smack the shit out you. Tell your yeah, mom, your mom niggas, smack the shit out you. The, right. Even the street niggas might pop you in the back of your head for doing some dumb shit. The tide changed to where... If somebody talk to your child crazy, you can go whoop her ass for even approaching mm. your we're kid. We in that mind your business era. We in that mind your business era, and that yeah. shit don't help. With a kid, that's what I learned for nothing. It takes a village. Like, all my it niggas do. know, if I you see my now. daughter smoking, stop her. Like, bro, if you see her hugged up with a nigga, say, yo, what the fuck is you doing? My daughter got 57 uncles. Yeah. Like, it takes a village. Y'all all get that right to check her fucking ass. I'm not saying... Pull her pants down and whoop her. No, but yeah, no, 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 don't no, just no, call no, me and say you seen her do some kicky shit. Run up on her. Like, say something to her. Yeah. It takes a village to raise a child. All that. Why you talking to my child? Like, like don't get it fucked up. Because y'all going, I don't want to fight in the comments. Of course, you had to be protective. Of course, people are kinky and freaky. Of course, but if you trust motherfuckers enough to be around your kids, you should be enough to trust them enough to, um, what's the word? Discipline your kids. And we talk if about, you don't trust the motherfuckers that's around that you allow around your exactly. kids while you drinking box exactly. wine enough exactly. to discipline them, then why the fuck you letting them come around and drink Hennessy when you fry chicken when the Eagles win? Make sure you in the right place to say something. Make sure you got a relationship with the parent. You probably got a relationship with the kid and you can even say that. Not not if you done been there once or twice. I don't know you over here. Get the fuck out my face. Real mm. I'd have had I'd have had family members who tried to run down and correct me. And I'd be like, bro, I met you once, twice in my life. I really poke you up because I don't know you. Like, wow. I done pulled weapons on family members who came too aggressive. What the fuck happened just now, man? Nah, cause, cause when you went left. Beca- because <laughs> I feel like we made a U turn. Nah, 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 cause because it been with left. It's, it get it, sometimes with them older motherfuckers they get a little. When you see, you gotta think. When you see somebody older, because. I'm talking about I'm from the You 90s. coming from the other So like, almost like A child's perspective But from the 90s though Even though Now I feel like We don't We wouldn't do It's this hard for me To even think that way Because I got so many children But no I'm talking about Alright so look about how Think about how We somebody, parents bro. Think about how somebody Would approach Amina As how you would've Got to approach You acting out of pocket You acting out of pocket It might be I fooled rip- my grandma Huh? I fooled my exactly. Grandma. That's that, that, my, my point. That my point made the old. Well, I had a lot of problems. The old head. What? Either way, the old heads back in the day was a little more like. I'm very ashamed of that. You feel me? It was a little more hard. Bro, I fought my grandma. Was. I fought my big cousins, and you know your big and cousins be you like your they, big sisters. And I dogged a couple of them bitches. But Y'all know what's up with me. What's like up? That. You even still even watching it? Even <laughs> Learn your lesson. Even no more. <laughs> For handling the situation, how you handle it, I bet you it's because they stepped to you crazy and you didn't really have a relationship. With them. Um, you know what it was? I'm the opposite of the way. I didn't get physically disciplined. Like I've never been beat with a bell. I never really I got smacked too whip. much. I got my teeth chipped, but I got my teeth gold you right now. Don't tell all your mom business like that. Yeah, nah, fuck that. She fucked me up. Uh-huh. <laughs> you was bad though, Thwag. Now it's funny because I was bad in a way where I'm more mischievous than bad. Like I wasn't just trying to explore. Get to get back. Get Do you feel like it makes you serious spice. question? Do you feel like it make you feel away now? Like it's something like it's therapy type vibe or no? Nah, because now I understand it now. My mind understand what she was trying to do because she, I was really wilding. Like, I still, understand you still now have I'm never wilding. beat none of your kids like never, that. Never, like, because I, I understood I was wilding. My kids don't wild like that. Oh. They just need a little bit of like. Uh. I think if they did while like that, you still wouldn't beat them that oh, way. Oh, I'm whipping their ass. If they was doing what I was doing, they whipping their ass. I, I gotta see it. Mad. Yeah. Oh, what the? Mad at that. I don't even do that now. I be like, yo, what? And I, they just get it. 
I feel like kids our age, like the kind of age that we have, our oldest, you can't beat them on the belt. You have to more box them up like we in the street. Now, now you just got to, it's more disciplined because you got to hurt their ego now. It's weird. You got to kill their ego at 12, 13, 10. I didn't have an ego at 13, like 16, 10. Now 17, you got to be like, yo, yeah. I'm taking your phone. You can't yeah. post for Yo, me. you could smack the shit out of your child. That's that don't hurt as much as they- bleed. You take that motherfucking. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. My daughter, I thought my daughter had a seizure. She, gonna clean, that she gonna clean the floor with a toothbrush for that phone. Bro, bag. she was <laughs> begging. Bro, she found every way she could to get on the fucking internet. Right. That mother, that's how I figured out the TV could do it. I ain't even know. I'm thinking she in there watching old fucking movies, Disney on movies. IG, this junk. nigga's yeah. on Instagram on the television. Off the yeah. just watch, just they watch innovative, oh, bro. Just watch that kid. <laughs> they <laughs> innovative, <laughs> bro. That was anything with a web browser. She's a plotter. Take it to the next My web niece, browser, like, more of a certain oh, man. Yeah. Just pay attention to your kids, man. Give them that attention. You ain't got. Dwight, how many you got total? Like I got two young. kids. I got an eight year old and a thirteen year old. He about to be fourteen. Both boys or boy and girl? Both boys. Thank God. Lucky. Are you done? That's all. You would get a vasectomy for real. Shit. If I, I don't agree with that, that. I don't agree with that. If I ain't got to worry about that. I'm cool. Why don't you agree with it? Um, I got a, I got a, I got a female dog. For what reason? I, I got, got a question. Two, girl, I, two boys. I, somebody in my family got one, cool. so I just want to know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I, when I say I don't agree, it's none of my business. No offense. Do what you want to do. But my friend come ask me. I'm always gonna say no. And. I'm equal opportunist. I don't think women should get their two side either. Okay. I just think it's a beautiful thing to make a kid. And I'm a breeder. Like, it I get is. pregnant all the time and I be keeping them shit. I'm a breeder. In this society, I am, bro. In this society we in now, like, I'm a fake it get to the point where it's like, you gotta be <laughs> smart. Like, I ain't even trying to bring. Your situation is so different because, like, you could literally bring a kid into this world with somebody you absolutely don't want to, and they be and the person treated like a bill and don't even let you see your kid. And you just paying this un crazy amount of money every month for a child that you're Ooh. not even allowed to see. Ooh. You're just dealing with a situation you don't have to. Ooh, Do you agree with what I said? Yes, Sis. but I'm just dealing with the situation my, of a pleasure. My man's just my man's had a, uh, not a one night. He had a couple times, but <laughs> the, the, the bitch pregnant. She she talking about keeping that joint. He's sick. Yo, yeah. I. I think he like, bro, I don't even know this She bitch. get her morals out of nowhere. Oh, I, exactly. I now you believe in Jesus, now bitch. You, you was just... Exactly. Now, now, now I was oh, like, praise him, praise him. I don't like that. Come on now. When all you had to do was... I mean... Wrap it up. We love all our kids that land on this. On Let, let's say that. We love all our kids that land on or this planet. Just, that you it's not even... I love the ones that land in the doctor's it's office. It's just a situation... We're back out. In. You niggas know, back out. No, because no, I asked all my niggas that be mistakenly pregnant and bitch, did you bust her? And they always do. That's dumb Every time. Me. Ain't that That's dumb? Every time. Dwight. That's the first thing I ask. They say yes every time. I have, I have kids, right? I kid you not. Only one... Fucking guy I've ever fucked with, he came in me. Every baby I ever had was from pre-com. I have never been like, oh, come in me. Who the Cap. fuck wants to? They lying. Since they lying. Bro, he busting at you. I want to know. Ain't they was uh-huh. nothing in there. And, and sometimes, and no. sometimes they're pie. not keeping it a bean. Exactly. Because sometimes the pre-com be kind of husky. Yeah, I was about Since, to say the pre-com shoes. That don't was like that. I was about to bust, but it bust, but I didn't sometimes bust. Sometimes it looked like a whole <laughs> drunk. Like if you seen it, you'd have been like, oh yeah. <laughs> nah, it, it wasn't even Moment. that. But this is the thing. I'm really, listen. I'm the girl, like, because I'm going to be friends, right? I know, I let's know what you're friends. talking about. I got you. Listen, let's I got be you. friends. I'm going to explain it better, but I We're got you. friends here, right? Mm-hmm. So I could be totally honest. I would rather swallow his cum than for him to come in me. Not just because I don't yeah, want me the baby. Too, sis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I told, but I told this is, let me tell you why. I told Joy that's up. Not just because the baby thing, but I don't like the way it comes in and out. It's just kind of gross to me, if that right, make any right, sense. Right, right. Like, I hate the thought All of squishy. me walking around with your shit. Like, I don't like that. When I got into a relationship with a nigga and I felt that, like, I was so manly in love with him, I was like, come in me, come in my ear, whatever. You know what I mean? But that was just me and his thing. But I kid you not, them babies was made off of pre-com. I don't give a fuck. I'm so so because so, ain't nobody never coming me. A, I would know how I'm not. I'ma tell you. I'ma I'm, tell you as a, tell me. as a woman because th- this is what be going on. For one, hi, my god, baby out there, hi. <laughs> you see, you bad luck. Crazy, right? <laughs> so if you, <laughs> here you jump. So if you, uh, all right, all right, boom, back to the, the shit. So boom, with women, this is this is the whole thing with, with y'all that, that y'all got to understand. For one, I hate when y'all know y'all dickmatized, but y'all feel like y'all know everything that's going on. You're not. What's stigmatized though? Dickmatize is when you so I want to hear y'all. Okay, Who is stigmatized? Dickmatize is when you catching the good go. dick so crazy 
that you feel like you know everything that's going on. You don't. You're in bliss, big big mind. You see what I'm saying? You definitely so, am. So, 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 so when you say, hmm. maybe, may, maybe the weak sex ones, I don't know. But if you having the good sex that you say you having... That baby ain't come off no pre cum, bro. I didn't have great sex. Try to it. explain it to me in layman's terms. Coming, I just want to know what dignitized me. That nigga nutty and took a break. Uh, 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 Tra- uh, 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 traumatized, digmatized. You, you. Traumatized, digmatized. <laughs> digmatized is your. Like, I can't fucking talk about digmatized in front of this motherfucker. We we're peers, bro. We're lames. Digmatized. <laughs> Digmatized is a thing women made up. It's when y'all getting good dick and, and a lot of... It's, it might... Okay, so getting good dick and it's fucking up your judgment in other ways. Exactly. Period. Thank you. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to know your definition of it. Is that similar to yours? Digma- That's what digmatized dig- is. Digmatized is like, I... I don't see because niggas don't really know. We just we we. As well, I said, just they judgment. We we roll around as first of all, every nigga roll around like we fucking the shit out of a bitch. So. Right. Dick and be wrong be as you. a mother. John John might not have smoked your shit high. Smoked right. your shit. Now you just want to pay my bills. You want to listen to my shit. But hold on. He gets you. He gets you upset. But that's the nigga you deal with. Right. You digmatized by the, the 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 next nigga that's just doing it for you. Now it's dr- you with whatever drama. See, that's a different but, definition but of yours. That's but, why I want to hear. Hold on, listen. I'm talking about the whole come and pre-come situation. Fuck yeah, you gotta stay on top. This is this. I is, just wanted to know what dick was. So, so listen, I'm gonna tell you. I felt like he was calling me dick was. Because no, 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 no. Pre-come is a real thing. I don't mean to be graphic. I'm you can get come off a pre-come. We get we get graphic. You can get come off a pre-come. Hold on, let me finish because I be pre-coming all the time. I ain't had no pop-ups. So what? Pre-come is the pre. Let me. You keep cut. Pre-come is it's it's feel me. Pre-come damn near like water. What you say in pre-come is the first little. Oh, that's not pre-come. That's a nigga coming almost fast, and we can stop it a little no, bit. That's no, that's not what I'm saying. But you catching that baby shot? No, niggas give you the niggas is giving you yeah, the baby that's shot. That's what I was. That's niggas yeah. not giving you pre uh, like, you getting a baby shot. It's uh, like, oh, I ain't mean it, but but I can still keep going because because the bus wasn't crazy. It was yeah, a little, but it's a lot. It in was there. a little, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, like, it was a lot of kids a in a that little One shot. time I got one time I got pregnant for sure because that's a man with kids. One time <laughs> he, he, he don't had no the kids. Shot. He don't got no kids because he know what I'm talking um, about. He know the shot though. One time, one then, time, I'm almost confused what we debating about. But one time I got pregnant because I was on once. top and I didn't get off fast enough. He like, yo, get up, get up, and I stay on. A little too long, like it was me. The yeah, shot had definitely. Was, the like shot, if I would have got up before, when I got up when he said he got up, it would have been good. Yeah. But I didn't. Cause you got like three little. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, so what? It. So what the fuck do <laughs> I think? <laughs> pre, what do y'all think that I think pre-cum is? That's no, what I pre-cum, 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 pre-cum is. No, pre-cum. No, but it's not no, what y'all think it is. Cause people think pre-cum is like you put it in and you was like no homo. Cause you know niggas get a little. You know what I mean? They're like nah. Let me tell you. This is what I think it is. At the tip, niggas be a little. Yeah. That's what I said. This is what I think pre cum was. Water. You know how a bitch might touch a dick and it leak a oh, little bit. Yeah, that's pre cum. That's, no. that's what the fuck I thought pre cum was. No, but but, but yeah, we not no, giving y'all no, that though. Y'all, uh, y'all, no, the no, shit listen. you get pre cum <laughs> on is the yo, get up, get up. Yeah, <laughs> the pre cum already been there. Like, <laughs> I think the pre cum like when sis, I picked you up. Sis, sis, <laughs> so when I told you to get up, you were supposed to have been up. Yeah, I'm in my room. The get up was like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? That's how I had my son. The get up is the first squirt. That's what I'm saying. If the whole joint don't come out, then it ain't over. Yeah, that's if a I'm, little bit come out. Nah, we still. If a little bit, right? Left the whole I can't, if a little bit, came, right? Mona, if if if, I'm just saying. Most of my sexual experience, yeah, except for one nigga, shit. every Niggas single was time to you. he was like, "I'm about to come," he pulled out. And, he, and it was but, because we but, had that agreement. But he came a little bit before that. That's and, what I'm telling you. And he didn't you. tell me that. Yeah. No, cool. I said that. All you got to do is explain it, motherfucker. Sis, I don't be understanding what you're saying. saying. As he pulling out, that joint right there. Yeah. So if he time it right, we you he could do we, it. We, most we, times, we, a little bit going. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> but squirt, I get pregnant off that little word, bit. Bro, niggas be scared. Bro, I feel like... I don't know. You know how many times niggas left? You know how many times niggas niggas the, 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 niggas the let the first squirt rock? Like, fuck it. <laughs> it's nothing you can do. Yeah, it's, like, it's gone. It's but you know what's crazy? That wasn't no pre cut baby. That boy's busting. You. Yeah, it's a baby squirt. And what? I don't agree. Like, you know, you know what real niggas are doing? Because I feel like the nigga don't want the baby either. Gonna say so. No, we gonna let. We not gonna even tell her about the baby squirt, especially if she don't feel it. To let our stand look like it's crazy. I like it. You're I get never seven supposed minutes. to. Why would you ever tell somebody you pre came? That's weird. It's not pre. No, it's I'm the gonna, real. I might tell her later. I might be like, yo. I, I in my brain, you. y'all can't think, even feel pre come. Right or wrong? Because I'm gonna tell you. You wanna know we pre coming? 
when you start kissing me on my neck, right, that motherfucker right, really wet on the right, tip. That's not true. Pissy, yeah, you know? I know that. I know that. That's what I think. That's not what's getting you pregnant. Nah. Bullshit. That's anyway, cool. you, so you, you, heard, you already you. sucked that off. The pre cum call. We're trying to tell you this. <laughs> the well, we went there and it's great. The, the I wanted to say lasting. something to your folks that was fucked the girl a couple times and then she pregnant and she want to keep it. I feel yeah. like there has to be a way where a man has sex with a woman and then she gets pregnant and he says, listen, I don't want to do this. Right. We don't have any history. We don't. I don't want no parts of this baby life. You keep it. We cool. I feel like y'all should be able to legally do that. Like without it being a thing. And it's weird. I feel like it, it should be, be like, because don't give a fuck up. It takes two to tango, right? So we're making a mistake or whatever, right? But depending on what type of kinky shit we into, let's say, like, come, I always come and you supposed to be on a pill, shit mm -hmm. like that. I feel like with certain precautions, like if you can prove that you just met this girl and you can prove that you said for sure I don't want any kids by you, it's nothing like that. It should and you, be a, yes, the day should, limitation. you should be, I'm not fucking playing. You should be able That's to sign real. off and you have nothing to because do with that fucking kid. In certain court Y'all be forced into that shit. Don't get it fucked up. Because people, y'all will call me and pick me on the internet. And I hate that. It's not about me being a pick me because I've never it's been fair. that bitch. I'm always like, I'm a girl's girl, bitch. Y'all my sisters, boy, hey, bitches. <laughs> I love y'all like my sisters, not that. You know, I love my niggas too. At the end of the fucking day, what I was saying was, if some of you bitches know y'all got them kids, you got that husband, and he don't like you or that motherfucking baby, and you forcing him. And then randomly, when motherfuckers shoot everybody in the house, jump off a fucking bridge, y'all be going, what the fuck was wrong with him? Whole time it's because he hated you, bitch, and you got pregnant while he was in college and fucked up his hoop dreams. I got a question for you. Um, or not I, I, even I, I, that. He older. He trying to get right because he was drawn. Now he finally stopped drawing and this bitch pregnant. I wasn't That's how life works for things. I'm, I, I, I think I'm going to stop drawing right now. And then tomorrow, this bitch call me talking about she pregnant. But, but as niggas too, <laughs> as niggas too, we got to have better dick control. Niggas be out here Facts, capping bro. and be dying. Y'all niggas, gotta fight Facts, to take niggas be out here acting like y'all sturdy, uh, trying uh, to his, make yourself look good to me. Left it in there. He, le he left it till it got small. You trying to make yourself look good to me when it, when the whole time you fold every time you get inside the pussy. But just let's just be honest. But no, Mona, I'm I'm I was I was agreeing with with, uh, with what you were saying. Yeah, I I you know I don't know. I just personally, especially being a mom of a boy, like bro, I've seen too many situations where it's like. This bitch is purposely planning this shit out to get knocked by this nigga. They've been fucking for a year. She always been on birth control. He always came in her. Boom, she pregnant, and I'm keeping it. So, you know, around the time where he's like, yo, this is getting too serious. I'm about to go to school. I'm about to get this job. I'm about to move to a different city. I'm always love you, yeah, but it's time. It and you purposely getting this nigga to fuck you, purposely missing your pill trying to keep him. Why should a nigga have to be forced what? to deal with that? And then it's a fucking bill. It's a bill. That, so, so the question I wanted to ask you about that, it's, it's Sidebar, I never took none of them niggas to child support court. Crown me, nigga. Definitely don't. I ain't never got one fucking check from none of the niggas. I leave, and yeah. now it's my baby. Do, um, in other situations, don't handshake deals hold up in court, like verbal agreements? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Say it so, again. So, All right, so, so, so somewhere. Yeah, so in certain, in certain oh Delaware, you can do verbal contracts. So in you didn't sue somebody. You've answered too fast. You got <laughs> sued, motherfucker. You know he's in Delaware. He knew that motherfucker. You knew that motherfucker. Oh shit. So so Trump so that's crazy. Split. It's like if if I'm in a state to where a, a verbal agreement hold up, then why can't this just be like you know what I mean? Because when be they a, call me a picky me and say I'm just picking niggas sides, nah, they always say, oh well, he need to be responsible with his come. He need to do it up. But it's like let's look at it like that. What if they love to play and come? Never feel like you're he come and her. He come on the wall. He comes in the nose. They play with it. He comes inside mm -hmm. of her and her all three holes, butt, nostrils, everything. And now just this one time. Yeah, she magically see, forgot to you take the pill. Exactly. I have right. male friends that's that fact, right. are being held hostage. I, and that's why you get to these situations where the nigga paying the bill every month, but he don't see the kid. Because that's how the mom that was, wanted that was it. Never for the that kid was to be always here. the map out. It's like you don't know what it feel like being a man and you picking up this motherfucking kid whenever you can and the fucking kid hates you from hearing bullshit about you every day all day. And you can only get this motherfucker once every three months because of some dumbass a family court judge that fucked you. Y'all can't bind, y'all can't get closer you got this stranger in the back getting sticky shit on your leather seats and your motherfucking caddy fuck this baby and i want i want y'all to know y'all know this nigga is you feel me i ain't mona she even if she says something to me i don't I, i'm i'm giving you credit for this i don't hear you bad mouth your 
kids' fathers to your kids. Fuck no. I ain't never heard. I don't talk about them because they gonna figure that shit out anyway. It is what it is. And sometimes when I, if I do slip up, because my mother never did it. You always on the woman's side. You don't do that. My they let them tell her they call me a pick me because I went viral (laughs) for saying that niggas get shot in the streets because girls always calling their cousins and brothers for bullshit. So I said, stop doing that. I said, and you know what they pick you for to bring that motherfucker up every time it happens. It's (laughs) it's funny because bitches don't like pick me's, but niggas love pick me's. What's wrong? Being a pick <laughs> well, I ain't a pick me. Him so we can love you. I say what the fuck? I keep it you real. Want us to hate you forever? I keep it real and I say how I feel. <laughs> like, I have a lot of male friends. I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. Saying? Like, bro, I remember a nigga paying 1300 to his bitch every month. This check would be like $33. They would take his whole check for child support. And this bitch legit would, like, play with his child. He couldn't see his child. I've seen that a thousand mm-hmm. times happen. I've seen a motherfucker stuck in court where they damn that motherfucker once every three months on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Paying court fees, doing all this, doing all that. Mm-hmm. I was raised by a mom that never spoke on my dad. My dad was a demon. My dad whooped her ass. My dad fucking stole shit from her. My dad, it was once story about him taking all her jewelry and giving it to his sister so every time she seen one of my aunts that bitch had on a piece of hers and this back when 14 karat gold jewelry was out like that's my chain this bitch got on a w necklace for wanda my mom took that shit in stride and never mentioned nothing i never knew nothing and she made me make my own decision about my father she didn't build up you know what i but, thought about my father and guess what i'm almost 40 and i know my father's a piece of shit i want to say but, <laughs> but 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 i feel like what she made short especially because of, oh i don't know Nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there. Thank you, baby. That's for the house. <laughs> That's for the house, daddy. Listen, real quick, before we get into the dark side of the DM, Rosa has disappeared because he's a pretty nigga. He ain't got to sit yeah, for long. Sit for um, did y'all watch White Savior? Oh, my what God. Why is I'm a big documentary buff. I love Rosa documentaries. I, I, my my shorty be having me watching, like, documentaries. And oh, I'm going to give you a list then. One of them is called White Savior. It's about a young evangelist, um, Christian evangelist that, that might be a double du- double negative to say that, but evangelist that goes to Ghana in Africa at 21. She starts from um, just giving out donated stuff to feeding the kids once a day or a couple times a week to raise, running her own clinic where she did things as deep as starting the IV, giving somebody a, blood, a bag of blood, mm-hmm. Um, like everything other than surgery, but basically, um, they shut down her facility. She was homeschooled. She only had a high school education. Um, and they break down the documentary with her having white savior complex. White savior complex is like almost when you're white and you're privileged and you almost think like your presence is enough to help these poor motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about it's like the famous car. Right. It's like when the famous bitch goes to Africa and holds the baby with the big belly. Yeah. That's why Savior Complex. So at the end of the day, they break down the story. And I must say, like watching it, especially the way she started, she really loved God. Um and I feel like her intentions probably were pure. But if you don't educate yourself in this, these kind of topics and you jump in a pool that's Ghana, Africa, yeah. you get into these type of situations. Because if she would have took a class, if that bitch would have ever even went to college where you get to see different people and learn different things, it might have been a different situation. You know, bottom line, for you to be practicing medicine and you don't have a license or you don't have... Um, candy delivery? You don't, it's, that's downstairs. You don't, oh, okay. Um, for you to be practicing medicine on babies, one year I think they lost 120 Butter. kids. Like, she would make mistakes like, she, she would look at a baby, right? And instead of taking vitals, she's just looking with her eyes. And she said God would lead her. Mm-hmm. So sometimes God would leave her with, you know, maybe giving a kid a blood transfusion that didn't need one. One little baby, the blood transfusion caused another issue, and her face started to eat where she lost her whole cheek because of the mistake that the girl made. They got adjusted when you move, Rosa. So, um... We good? We good? All right. He ain't used to this. All right. So, um... What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, but no, like... Her mistakes definitely kill kids. Sometimes she was dealing, dealing dealing with the malnutrition, so they would really be starving. And I remember reading books about the Holocaust and like when the Nazis would let the Jewish kids come back. Um, you couldn't just give them like a bar of chocolate or a cup of soda because it it hurt you. You know what I mean? You have to like sip slowly and eat small things. You understand what I'm saying? So she would make mistakes like that, and she would kill them too by mistake. So she made a lot of mistakes. She lost her silly. That on? Netflix? HBO at Max. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a good joint, but um, you your shit. At, I'll give it to you. At the end of the joint, basically, 
it seemed like a couple people were suing her, but she definitely wasn't going to jail. So a lot of people felt like, you know, it was bullshit. You all right, man? You giving me the, like, you going to smack the shit out of me and say, uh, yeah, I just need five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes please. Because it's hard I mean, to even like, talk with that shit. It's hard. So listen. We ever, or just smile a bit, babe. Um, we already talked about BS High. You got to add that to your list. Make a list. BS High, White Savior Complex. This for your documentary, just for you and your babe. Um, the murder, the uh, Murdoff, what was it? What is these niggas' name? Murdoch? What is it? Oh, you got the, you is got it, my fault. You got Murdoch? it, my fault. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Part two of the Murdoch Mysteries. Um, nigga, what? <laughs> Part two of white people doing white people stuff, and they're all rich, and there's generations and generations of them. Um, that was more focused on the trial. It was pretty good. It wasn't as racy as the first part, but I know y'all see it. Tell me your thoughts, because we already discussed it. But Kirk Franklin, child, wasn't that sad? My mother told me about that two nights ago. It's on YouTube. Kirk Franklin's mother is a lying whore. With the one that, the, I I'm sorry, see Kirk. I didn't see it, but the one that made me for the first time. What Bro. What Kirk drop Kirk drops a um, documentary on YouTube about his life. Kirk Franklin was raised by an older lady in a church that was a distant relative. Mm -hmm. Kirk Franklin oh, reports being he lonely. Didn't he didn't have any friends. He didn't have any cousins. He never had a birthday party. He didn't know he was anybody. By the old mean bitch in the church. That's strong. That's exactly what happened to him. Um, eventually. Because he was placed um, under uh, what is it? Up for adoption? I can't wait to get outside. What? I, we joking. It's like, fucking you know, me he, up. You know he got a jerk off. Prop. Never mind. Went over my what? fucking head. Listen to he me got, talk about uh, Kirk Franklin. And this Thank you, God damn it, because it's Your sad. Your right. mother told you to watch this now, series. Yeah, but when I understand now his problem, because how you preaching yeah. and they got a jerk off problem, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we was trying not to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Okay, I, I I just I'm wrapping it up right now. I'm gonna do the documentaries, then we're gonna do the DM, and then we done. You try to keep right. it inside. inside. Um, <laughs> my head's about to explode. <laughs> okay, so on um, it was bad. It was like it was it was just really sad. I met Kirk Franklin at the BET Awards. The way he describes it, people are so unauthentic. People lie so much. They cap so much. Everybody got like a persona they trying to pull off. He describes himself as being insecure. And when I met him, I felt that on him. Like, I couldn't really read it exactly, but he's so humble. And when he talks to you, he kind of like, you word, know, like he's meek. Word. Mind you, bro, he's built like a motherfucker. I mean, he's, yes. you could tell he works out. He has a nice body. He is extremely handsome, haircut. You could tell he's been styled. He had a Fendi outfit on. He looked good. But you can totally see the insecurity in him. So hearing him say that him being adopted and ignored like that by his real parents made him feel small, it's heavy that I met him and he felt so small. You know what I mean? Like, it just made me feel for him. It was so sad. Like, I cried the whole time. He, um, the, the part that stuck out to me, if y'all watch the documentary with me, the part that stuck out to me the most was the fact that his mother was a liar. His mother kept lying on who his father is. Down to they get the blood test, and she gets in and says, this got to be wrong. And he gets her what? another one. Oh, she shit. never's honest and about it. She never kept it abandoned. She fucked boy. This is the worst part. He finds his father. He approaches his father. His father is the missing piece of his puzzle. It ruined his life. He didn't have his father. He meets his father. He tries to connect with his father. They have, like... You know, like a meeting of men, uh -huh. the guy dies, he loses him. He grieves losing his father. The whole time his real father's alive. His mother just lying to him about his oh father. Oh my God. My what? mother was lied to what about her father. It's horrible. My what mother, and it's short, it's a good documentary. My mother was lied to about who her father was, so I was raised by a parent that went through that. She didn't find out who her real dad was with 13, and it broke her. I don't know what you bitches doing at home, but that's just a game you can't play. You got to keep it real with the baby. It just, yeah. it crushed him. He literally yells at the top of his lung, like, Mom, I had a dad all this time. Like, I fucking bury him. I grieved him. He paid for his tombstone. Yeah. His yeah, mother's a liar. Did. His aunt calls him, and, and she says, and he says her name, Lisa. Hey, Lisa, what's up? And she go, who? He said, Aunt Lisa. She forces him to call. There's a bunch of narcissistic black old school that's bullshit great. with their whole family. Yeah. Shout out to Kirk Franklin. That documentary was honest. It was, I just gave us a bit, a different look at you. Like, I wish you the best with all of that. I hope with therapy and all that, I hope you can connect with your father. I hope you can get back linked with Carry On with your son. Thank you for sharing that with us. And you are handsome as a motherfucker. Like, I ain't see Pastor when I seen you, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I seen something different. Kirk's 30. I, I, shout out a to nigga Kirk. A nigga convert for you. DM me. 
I That's a joke. With, I fuck with Kirk. DM. When we met him, oh, he, was DM. Wearing, he was wearing Travis Scott's right after the Yum Sand. You know, he <laughs> bull. You feel me? Do you have a DM, fellas? No? What, as far as like... What, a get, dark get, side, babe. Remember? A dark side DM. Um... You came up here not ready. No, he was ready. Nah, Do nah, you nah. have one? I mean, I mean, people. I mean, my DM. My I'm gonna go to my DM. My DM be funny. My request be like niggas asking me for money and giving me their like rundown of how they got kicked out. My phone died. Bro. Oh, that's they, how my shit is. They be like, yo, I got kicked out. Charity. Bro. Yo, real shit. I fuck with what you doing. They, they butter you Look, up first. Yeah. I don't got. They ask for it. I don't got a bad one like that. But I was thinking earlier when I was looking for a bad one. I'm like, damn, it's, it's crazy. If I gotta delete my end for for uh, other purposes. And then they still got they and they still got the receipts on that side. So now they can do whatever they want with the receipts. <laughs> but I don't got none of them. I didn't unsend nothing because I don't want they side to know right. what I got brewed up over here. But mm. I got to These got to go. Brewed, brewed up, up bro. Sure. These can't be around. Nah, for sure. Nah, I mean, just be playing themselves too. Be, I mean, it ain't no dark side. I don't be going through those genres. I just want to say one thing. The new unsend feature on iPhone, shout out to y'all. That's Bad. amazing. That's beautiful. I love it so much. Because I could contain myself and not be a dumbass bitch but all day, but like at night. Mi- you got like three minutes, though. I was, I was about oh, to say, it? you only got like three two minutes. Two or three minutes. It's that's all two I need, three Greg. That's all I need. It, that, that, Sometimes that, when I'm upset with people, I will block them and then try to, or do something to the phone and text them still so it makes me feel better. I'm going to tell you, I was shaky with that when it first came out because everybody had an update. So you would get that message to say, um, oh, you might have sent this motherfucker with the other person. <laughs> it's going to sit there regardless. <laughs> All right, I got that was a man. bad job. <laughs> yeah, you unsending it from your thread. But they still got it. Yeah, that's it what don't I'm matter. Saying. That's, what I'm just, that's what he was saying, but he said it in a platter way. Listen, voicemail. Come on, come on, what are we doing? Hi, Mona. My name is Lethe, and I had a question on a 30-year relationship, friendship, and now my son's father. How do I break up with him? Girl, I can't keep a nigga past three and a half. I can't give you no advice on that. I'm sorry. Can I, can I ask something? She said, no, we don't have time for that. Friendship, relationship, but he the son of my father. She said no, 30 she said, years. She said, Mona, I'm I asking for advice on a 30-year relationship. Then she stutters and says, my son's father. So throughout that 30 years, okay. they end up having a baby. That's and she wants to know how to break up with him. You don't, bitch. You ride that shit to the sunset. Double that policy. You can get something know? out that raggedy ass nigga. Or be a mistress. Come on now, 30 years. I w- I've never been with a nigga past three and a half. And my ex just said, we was together eight years. I'm like, nigga, are you drunk? We never made it to eight. You're tripping. You'd have been pushed over for 30 you years and now you want to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. That's crazy. Well, I broke up at the three. <laughs> At the three I more. Ladies and gents, I think I have one more documentary for you to watch, and maybe we can talk about it the next time because I didn't Women get a chance to talk about it today. And I don't remember the name of it, so sucks to be you. I love y'all. Catch me here next week, same time, same place. Um, yeah, and it's me. Thank you. That's the whole thing. You feel me?